ZoomText is a screen magnification software. It allows you to zoom in progressively larger up to times 26. It's for students with low vision and we all, it also allows you to do things like change the background color. So you can do yellow and black, do something like a black on white, or you can go to and invert the blacks and the whites to give a gray scale background. You can also change the pointer to make it easier to follow along with. So you can change it to yellow with a red cross. You can follow along underneath, or you can do giant green. It makes it easier to follow along for students with low vision. I'll show how it works with Internet Explorer on times five magnification. Engaging students with the community. Only to possess knowledge and intellectual capacities. Hi, my name is Brett. I'm going to show you how I use the Kurzweil text reader to read textbooks while I'm at college. So I've got the Paul voice chosen. I'm going to start reading the textbook, which is an anatomy textbook. The heart is a four-chambered organ slightly left of the sternum. That's a little bit too fast, so I'm going to slow it down to about 120 words a minute. Sternum. The two upper chambers of the heart are the atria. If I don't like the voice, I can change it to another voice, like Kate. Atria. The two lower chambers of the heart are the ventricles. As I go through, I can do something like highlight. So I can take the yellow highlight and highlight the word, the ventricles. I can take green, and I'll go to the atria. I did too much there, so I'll erase it. and just get the atria to highlight. Or add a footnote or a sticky of the heart. I can zoom in going up to about 400 percent if I need to look closer and go back out to 150 percent. You can go through and look up definitions, synonyms, syllables, jump around pages quickly. So, And as you can see, the text notes are still there. So I can go later on and extract them, and it'll come to a file for me. So everything I'll highlight will come out. The next thing I can do is show them side by side so I can look at how the text compares to my notes. So tile vertically and see my notes here, go over and find where it is in the, in the text itself. I really love Kurzweil because it allows me to read books at a faster speed. It will read it to me while I'm studying and it helps me focus a lot better. And another thing, it really helps when professors choose their textbooks early so that I can get my textbook turned into an electronic form so that I can read it on time for class. Here we're at the home page of the Cal State Long Beach. Lick, Lick University move. And JAWS will read pretty much everything. You can tell it to move by link. Bullet link by CSULB. Bullet link webmail. Bullet link directory. By visited link. Visited link CSULB. Hot visited link beach board. And these are all shortcut keys on the keyboard, so your keyboard becomes uh, like a dashboard, if you will, to tell jobs where to go. Pause dialog. Links list dialog. Links list view. Library 17 of 113. To and move so the there, I mean, there's all the links. You can just use the arrow keys to move through the links. Correct. Skip link. Compose it for you. Student. Faculty. So you can also move my graphics. So if you want to see what pictures are on this on this page, with the the letter G on the keyboard. Link graphic medical advisory. So that's a link with a picture, and alt text of medical advisory. Link graphic donate to CSULB. There again is a link and a picture 
with odd six to donate to CSUOB. Link graphic CSULB budget central. Budget central. Graphic clouds. JAWS is designed to be used without a monitor. Slam. And with accessible pages with uh, alt texted graphics, it makes navigating the web a lot more very free. CSULB. Plan. Visited link CSULB. Plan. Search CSULB. Edit. Search button. Plan. Right, it speaks everything on the page. It tells you there's an edit field, there's a button. It tells you everything you would possibly want to know to independently get information and do what you need to do. In order to make it easier to navigate and to make information more accessible, I'd say that first, links, I mean, just it's common sense in a way. Make your website very easy to navigate by making the links names have, you know, like make sense. Uh, for documents, I'd say just to be safe, keep, if you're gonna have a, if you're gonna have a PDF version of a file, it'd be nice to have a Word version of it too. I'd say for forms, same goes, you know, it'd be the simpler the better. Sometimes, you know, it's nice to have virtual forms with, uh, you know, hypertext with PDF. But if you can, a Word file form would be a lot easier. I also use Dragon Naturally Speaking. It's a voice recognition software that types what I speak. I, it's getting better and better as time goes by and allows me to voice my thoughts when I can't type them. I'm going to demonstrate how Dragon will type what I'm saying. Today is Friday, December 4th. Period. This weekend I need to study for the upcoming finals. I have an anatomy final, a biology final, an English final, and a math final. Period. New paragraph. On Saturday, I'm going to study for the anatomy final, period. After I finish studying for anatomy, I'm going to start on the math final. Period. As you can see, this tool is helpful for letting me get my work done in a timely manner.